Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and today is my 2021 mid-year project pan update. So I have three items that are gone from my collection. I finished my professional back in February. I finished the stick foundation in March and I went ahead and I decluttered my Too Faced in um, at the end of April. So let's see where we are with the other items. Um, yeah, I have not used any of these, so I'm going to try really, really hard to use these, especially as we get towards the fall. I feel like most of these are fall colors anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna, gonna try. We'll keep trying. Whoopsie. My Urban Addictions quad, I do use Righteous a lot. I use this for helping to blend things out and there's a pretty good dip in that pan hopefully hopefully you can see that but there's a pretty good dip in this pan but no pan yet I'm not even going to bother pulling out my Urban Decay by Gwen Stefani or my um, Urban Spectrum palettes because I have not used any of those either so uh, I did pull in my all-nighter primer, and as you can see, I've used a little bit, um, but not a whole lot. I haven't used this a ton, but as we get into the warmer months, now that we are in summertime, I'll probably be using this a bit more. I was also able to finish my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and on the very last day that I was using it up, I broke, the foot snapped off. So... That's done, and I'm really excited to have that out of the project. Now, I did mention that I would bring my Tarte concealer back in, but I did not. Instead, instead I decided to grab my e.l.f. camo concealer, and if I can find it here, this Urban Decay All Nighter Primer, um, not primer, concealer. This is in the shade Medium Light Neutral, and it's a little bit um, dark, for a concealer. It's a little bit too dark for me. It actually matches more my skin tone, uh, so it's it's an actual concealer concealer. It's not used for brightening, but in places where I do want a little bit of brightening, I am using this camo concealer because it has less product than the Tarte Shape Tape bottle does, and I'm pretty sure that I can get through this by the end of August, hopefully. So for the summer months, I'm going to be using these two concealers. Up next, I have my Anastasia Stick Contour in the shade Fawn. Again, I didn't mark it, but I have been using it consistently, and there is a little bit of use there, so I'm pretty excited with that progress too. As well as I've expanded the pan in my Too Faced, oop, I've expanded the pan in my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and if you're not familiar with what that means, that means just making the, the visible pan bigger. You're expanding the pan. That's what that means. Uh, same thing with my Medusa's Makeup Blush. I actually didn't use this one a whole lot this month, so there's not a whole lot of pan expansion here, but I have been using this Tarte Mini in Party, and I have pan in here. So yay, I knew that I was uh, seeing that little circle in the bottom and I had surprise pan. Really excited to be continuing to use that up. Once again with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, um, we are, oops, sorry, we are getting down a little bit further. I am using this one a lot, a lot. So still got a few more months to go on that. This stuff is lasting me forever and um, just gonna keep on working. Next, my lip products. So I have not used kimchi much, but since it's summertime, summer is the perfect time for these bright lipsticks. So I'm gonna keep that going. I have not used my Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So just gonna keep hanging on to that one. And I haven't used my black truffle. I feel like this is definitely going to be more of a color that I reach for in the fall and autumn and winter, but I'm gonna keep going on that one. Next, my Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Juju. I'm not really sure how much is used, but um, we're still going. Still going strong. I'm just going to keep working on it until I can't scrape any more out. And lastly, I have my Buxom Lip, 
plus in autumn and I told you that by next update I would be below the X and here we are so I'm predicting that I can be at least by the oh maybe the mid M by the next update in two months so really good progress on that now for what I've pulled into my basket for the summer months so my foundations that I have I'm still working on this physician's formula the healthy foundation again it is a year old so I'm just going to try to use it up and get it done and after these two months I am just going to declutter whatever's left in the bottle because I know that SPF is no good anyway next I have my Stila hide and chic fluid foundation I really like this for summer it's lightweight it's a good coverage and since this one is in shade what is a shade medium one I know this is a good shade for me in summertime so I have that I also want to use up this Too Faced Born This Way uh, matte foundation. This one is also um, more of a medium shade. This one is in snow. It, it's supposed to be a light shade, but I feel like it is like just, just barely for me. So I'm going to try that out and see if I can get through that one too. All right. Last month I had pulled out a bunch of eyeshadows and I pulled these two in and did not use them at all. So I think I'm going to keep these in for this month because I have some smaller eyeshadow pans this month, eyeshadow palettes this month rather. I'm also going to keep in my Luna by Luna in Calypso. I just, it's one that I reach for quite a bit and I'm also uh, bringing in some other facial highlights with this. So I'm just going to rotate through them and use this a little bit more. My Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony. I have made really good progress on this, so I'm going to hold this up here and hopefully I'll show you the comparison on the screen. And I've made really good progress with that. Um, it's been one of the only brow products I've used, so I'm going to keep going with that as well as um, this Oma Brow Fro. I think that's what it's called, but this one is blonde. It's in the shade blonde. So what I have been doing to not make my brows look so harsh with the ebony is I use this and then I will set it with this, which means I haven't been using my clear lash and brow mascara as much. Now, as you can see, I use this one for a full month. And um, if you watched my last one, you uh, might remember me saying that you can see how gross it gets and how much product you use. And then you have a nice clean side on the other side. And I've only used this a couple of times, so I've got quite a few uses left and it doesn't look so nasty, but I can tell, um, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want to be using this in a, uh, in an opaque bottle. <laughs> no, thank you. So I really like these for that reason, because I could just look at it and say, okay, there's not anything really left in there and it looks pretty gross. So ready to use the other side now. So this will stay because I'll keep using that still. Up next, I'll just go through my lip products while I'm here. So I still have Seismic in my unofficial pan. Um, I do want to use this up this this year hopefully but I haven't used it much this summer it's a good sheer color for summer so I'm going to keep rolling with that all right last month I pulled in two liquid lipsticks now I did declutter a good majority of my lipsticks uh, my liquid lipsticks I'll leave that linked up here for you to watch in case you want to go back and watch it but um yeah I did not open this at all so this is going to go back in my drawer and I'm going to keep this out for summer because it's it's pretty I like bright colors in summer up next, I had my lipstick in the shade Asphyxia, and I used it a couple of times, but it's going to go back in my drawer. It's okay, but I think I'm, I'm not going to reach for it that much, so I'm just going to put it back. And finally, I have two that I am going to bring in. This is These are both Bite Beauty lipsticks, and they're the dual-ended. Uh, this one is in Jam. It's a really pretty purple. And it just, let me swatch it for you. It's a really pretty purple, like fuchsia color, fuchsia berry. It's so pretty. And then on the other side, we have opal, which is this really pretty iridescent. It's more like a glossy, look at how shiny that is. So pretty. So since I'm putting away asphyxia, I want to use this up. And since these are small, 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 I want to try to use as much as I can out of these. The next one we have is um, lingonberry. And this one is a really pretty color. It's very similar to kimchi, 
but it's a little bit more purple, which I really like. And last we have the color Tangerine, which is a lovely summer coral. And look at that, look how pretty that is. So I don't wear coral a whole lot, as you can probably tell. So I have a long way to go with this. And um, I think these are gonna be great summer colors and I'm looking forward to using these. Next for lip products, I have, since I'm getting low on the Buxom, I do wanna pull two more in. This one is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat and this one was in the shade La Vida Mocha. How many of you remember the Bite Beauty coffee lipsticks? My favorite one was Flat White, and this is a dead-on ringer dupe for Flat White. Um, I loved it so much, and this is a really good formula. I loved it so much that I went ahead and I bought um, three of them so that I can have some for a while. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this. I don't want to pan it, but I did want to bring it into my collection because I love it a lot. And lastly, I have this So Juicy ColourPop Lip Gloss in Type of Way. And as you can see, it has kind of separated and looks a little bit gross, but a little bit of mixing will, um, you know, redistribute all that. And um, I haven't really used this at all. As you can see, it's, it's full. So I do want to try to use this and um, see how I feel about it. So I'm going to try to use that. Lastly, we have my eyeliner from last month. I'm going to keep it in. I uh, can't remember where I saw it, but I saw someone do their um, underbrow with a uh, with with an eyeliner, and I really loved it so much. Maybe I'll put up my picture there. And um, I loved it so much that I've done it a few times, and I'm going to keep this in because I, I want to use this more, and I think that that is such a cute little look. So I'm going to keep um, keep that in, and I'm going to keep doing that. I okay, so I have some of these uh, primers and lash primers and um, don't really use them a whole lot. But since I don't love this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara, I'm wondering if maybe if I pair it with a primer that I might like it. So I'm gonna keep this one in since I didn't wear it much this last uh, go around and um, it's still got a lot of product in it. And I'll pair it with this Opening Act uh, Lash Primer by Tarte and see if I like it after that. I'm going to keep my roller lash in because it is one of my favorites and it still has a couple months of life left in it. And I'm also going to keep in this Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara because I really like it and I haven't actually opened it since I threw it into my basket a couple of months ago. So that's going to stay. I'm also really wanting to use up a couple of my makeup samples. I think um, from here on out I'm going to start throwing in a couple of samples. And while I am trying to go through my... Um, my Urban Decay primer. I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple of these into um, each of these packets gets me about three uses. So um, sometimes you just want a blurring primer, smoothing primer, and um, I like this. So I'm going to throw in these two sample packets and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, let me clear all this away, clean off my hand, and I'll bring in my eyeshadow palettes. All right, so in addition to, oh, got my little perfumes peeking out back there. It's all right. In addition to continuing to use my Urban Addictions quad, um, I really want to do some summery looks with this. I think Fireball and um, Backfire. I just think this quad makes a really good, quick and easy go-to um, look in the summertime. So I'm just going to keep, you know, keep keeping on with this anyway as a whole. But I did pull out um, a bunch of smaller palettes this month, which I'm really excited about. So first up on top, we have this Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette, and I really wanted the full size so bad. I still kind of do, but not as much. Um, it's okay. I've only used it a couple of times, as you can see. I mean, it, it barely even looks swatched, but um, this is such a pretty color, and so are these two. I don't really reach for these much. Um, I don't know if I've even swatched that car camel color. Is it called camel? Uh, Flint. It's called Flint. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to try to give this a try. It's a small, quick little palette, and I just I just need to give it another try. The formula is great, but meh. Up next, I have this NYX Midnight Chaos palette. I was so excited about this palette when it came out. I ended up buying it on clearance, 
and it's so pretty. It has so many neat textures in it. We have this bottom four. Uh, these are all mattes, and they are so pretty. And then we have these two over here are kind of duochromes. This is more along the line of this shade Fireball, except kind of a more muted version of it. Let's see if I can do that without lining anyone here. Yeah, it's just kind of a more muted version of this Fireball, which I really like. Um, this is a lovely, just lovely topper iridescent shade, and all of these are so nice. This one does require a little bit of extra um, care and use in it. It's not the best formula. Um, these up here especially do require a more of a glitter glue topper. Um, and to go on top of that, as you see, that's kind of patchy there. But yeah, these do benefit from more of a glitter glue, um, not glitter topper, more of a glitter glue to kind of hold them in place. But I still have created some really lovely looks with this, and I'm excited to play more with it. Oh, I'm going to need to take care of that. Up next, we have my Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. I love this so much. It's so cute. These colors are so fun. Pastels, but they are just bright and fun for summertime, and I just love this and have not used it enough. I mean, the pans look barely, you know, barely touched, but I promise I have used this quite a bit. Um, it's just so pigmented and blends out so nicely, but I love this. I'm gonna use this for summer too. I also want to use my Makeup Forever. This is the Artist palette. Yeah, the Artist 2 palette. Oh, that's upside down for you. And I wanted this. I lusted after this and it went on sale and I finally grabbed it. Oh, can't open it there. And it is so pretty. These two are a, not an eyeshadow formula. They're a blush formula. So they're a little um, denser and they're almost a cream to powder blush. So I've used these both as blush and eyeshadow and I love them. This is a really pretty duochrome shade. It's one of those brown to green shifts. And of course this beautiful smoky purple, which will be great for autumn. And all of these shimmers are just so pretty. This is just a really beautiful blue and this really pretty soft pink up there is gorgeous. And I love this. Let me swatch these out while I've got them all over my fingers. So we've got this beautiful duochrome here. That's a green to brown. This really stunning eggplant purple if i can get that there this gorgeous teal oh my goodness just look at that and that is just so pretty too so i'm really excited to use those let me clean off my hands and grab the next palette we have is the dreamworks uh trolls palette this was from the first movie and this palette is so pretty i've even kept the plastic because it's got the little troll in it <laughs> But this is um, really pretty. This is a really good formula. Um, again, this is kind of one of the more neutral palettes that I've pulled out for my rotation this go around. Um, I think these are really pretty. This whole T section here is kind of neutral for me. And it's got these really fun pops of colors. Um, down here, Satin and Chenille is another purple blue icy duochrome. Let me see if I can get that to show for you. Look at how pretty that is. And then um, Guy Diamond over here is just a really pretty like gray silver color. If I can angle that just right. It's just so pretty. This whole palette is really fun to use and so I'm looking forward to playing with this some more this summer. It just gives me very um, really nice transition vibes through throughout so I love that. Up next we have one of my Z palettes, and this is kind of a two for one. So remember earlier when I said I had some more facial highlighters I wanted to pull in, and these are them. These are some of my Luxie highlighters. I took out one of them because it didn't quite fit, but I love all of these highlighters so much. I have, sorry about the dirty Z palette, this is Voodoo, which is a lovely green. This one is Valley Girl, which is stunning. This one is Stripped. And this one is Charmed. And I just love all of these. They are intense and they are affordable. And I just love every single one of these. Over here, we have my Depotted um, KVD Serpentine palette. I 
think there's a shade missing, but I can't remember which one. Um, I just kept the ones I loved, and these are those. They're very pigmented, and for, for a while there when I had red hair, I was using blood milk as um, <laughs> my eyebrow powder. But I just love, oh, this blue is so pretty. Such a, this is my favorite shade of blue ever. Favorite ever. And it's just, oh my goodness, it's just the most gorgeous. So gorgeous. So I'm going to pull in this one too to play with. Up next, I have my actual neutral palette. This is the Tarte and Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. And oof, the mirror fell out and I had to glue it in, so I've got to be real careful with it. But this is the Nine Pan and the three facial um, face products. This is a very orange bronzer, so I use it very sparingly. I do like this blush and this highlighter, and this still smells like vanilla. I can smell it from here. And um, yeah, I just like these colors. I've got a little bit of a dip in Big Baby and um, also in Haunting. I've also used um, Sassy Bun quite a bit, and I really love this shade down here. What is that? Can you even see? Oh, Uncom Uncommon. So I like this one a lot. I like these purples at the bottom. They're very soft and subtle, but I enjoy this a lot. And lastly, my very last palette is the biggest one, and this is my Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded. Uh, was this the anniversary palette? I think this was their anniversary palette. Yeah, the XX Reloaded 20 for their 20 year anniversary. And it looks like this. I love this so much. There are so many fun textures in here. There's uh, some glitters, there's mattes, there's some satins, there's um, some shimmers here. Oil Slick has got, is that black with uh, silver glitter? Road Stripe is a lot like that um, satin and chenille color. In fact, I think they're um, very similar, except uh, Road Stripe is more blue in it, and uh, Satin Chenille has more purple. But I love these purples, this pink, um, and these greens are so much fun. So, yeah, I'm gonna pull that in for the summertime too. So, I feel like this go around, I don't have as many um, eyeshadow palettes as I did last time because I'm kind of counting, you know, this is a six pan and I have this five pan and um, this is technically a nine pan since it's got the nine, the three face, um, you know, the three face ones. And then I've got this is a nine pan and this is a nine pan. This is a ten pan. So, I mean, if you add up all the pans individually, yes, it's still a lot. But... I'm really happy with this because again, I also have a few new eyeshadows that I'm trying to play with this month. I've got the BH Passion in Paris, so look forward to that. I also have the um, ColourPop Fine Feather that is coming up soon. And I also have my eyeshadows of shame that I'm also working on. Oh, I forgot one palette. I'm sorry, there is one more. So I'm gonna keep this in too because again, this is a really gorgeous summertime palette, and I love this so much. So, all right, I got one more. I did forget, but this is also sealed 246810. This is also 10 pans, too, so, you know, very much like the uh, Midnight Chaos, and they, they pair pretty well together. So, I've got this one as well. I love these brights, love them for summer, so we're going to keep that in, too. And that is actually it for me today. Look forward to my Eyeshadows of Shame series um, for July. I Well, June, July. I'm using the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana palette. And I don't know what we're spinning for July or August yet. So, But I'm still kind of working on some projects. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and keep me encouraged. I'm working very hard on my project pan. Um, I could use a little bit more encouragement, though. Uh, come follow me if you want to see more over on my Instagram at tiffany.hamblin. And don't forget to um, subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. I would love to have you uh, stick around and, and see more. And uh, yeah, chat with me down in the comments. So that's everything for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care.